Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is Technical Tim here, and uh, sorry, I, like just I just went on a run and got destroyed by the rain. It started raining out of nowhere, so I'm still in my workout clothes, a little wet too, so a little sweaty too. So sorry about that. But uh, um, I just wanted to. I don't have too much time this evening, so I just wanted to squeeze this in. I have time right now, but I had to get it in before I shower and get ready. But um, anyway, sorry about that fucking rant. But we have UFC 236 coming up, and I'm going to give another just a quick little preview on one of the fights on the card, um, Max Griffin and Zalim. Um, I'm just going to ca call him Zalim. I, I don't know how to properly say his name, but I'll just call him Zalim. And uh, I'll look at the fucking lens too. Sorry. Let me pop the screen over. But yeah, pretty much on this fight too, it's kind of like the Davis fight that I had talked about earlier. You have a a proven UFC veteran in Griffin. Um, Griffin's not great or anything, but and there's just not a lot of depth to his game. I mean, he's a decent puncher, um, pretty decent striker. I mean, he, he's looked pretty good in, in some fights, but uh, not the best wrestling. He, I mean, he took down Curtis Melender for a little bit, but his wrestling is not that good. If, if, if you have good wrestling, you, you murder Curtis Melender on the floor. Um, and so, yeah, like we, we know Griffin's game. I'm not going to go too in-depth on it. I'm not going to go too technical in this video. I will a little bit, but not too much because I, I don't plan on playing this fight. Um, and then Zalim. So Zalim is kind of like, it's, he's kind of in the same boat. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. He's kind of in the same boat as Costa, except there is more, he's fought a, a couple better guys and there's a little more, a little more cage time on him to get a, get a read off him. And he doesn't look, he doesn't look bad. Like I, I, I'll say that. Um, I don't think he should have opened up as a favorite though, because he just hasn't fought enough good guys, but he, So, so he, he looks like an okay striker and has some power, but there's a couple fights where he was just winging bombs, and I feel like it just, like, I'd be really hesitant betting on, on him against Griffin, considering, like, it just looked like he, if he goes against someone who's actually a decent striker like Griffin, he'd probably just get tagged clean in some of those exchanges, but it's hard to know and hard to gauge his skill set because he just hasn't gone against anyone that good. Um... I will say I got to I got to see his wrestling though in a few exchanges and it, it doesn't look like amazing or anything but I definitely think it's good enough to hold that part of Griffin's game and Griffin doesn't have much depth like I said he's pretty much a striker he'll get some spot takedowns here or there and Griffin's not the best wrestler himself but I don't see like Griffin having a major advantage there um, a, a, a few things I saw on Zalim is uh, in, a, in a couple of his fights that played out is he used a post hand really well off a guy who got a, a quick body lock off him. He used the, the overhook and then he landed on his post hand. Like it, it, it just showed good wrestling instincts. So it makes me think like he'd be tough to kind of hold down. Oh, pretty tough for Griffin to take him down. But also um, when he did get taken down a few times, he did the right thing of getting an underhook and um, fishing, his, fishing an underhook and kind of just working his way back to the feet from there. So, and I feel like something like that would probably work on a guy like Griffin. So I don't think Griffin will have like a huge wrestling advantage here or anything. And Zalim's like offensive wrestling, I didn't get to see much of it. I saw, I saw him more just get top position off like random shit happening, like caught kicks. I didn't see like many takedown attempts by him. So it's like hard to know exactly how the wrestling would go. And um, a reason why I'm also staying away from the fight. And then on the feet, like I'd. Zalim throws the leg kicks, so that's good. Like, like I saw some actually strong leg kicks by him, but I didn't see anything like great. That that makes me scream. He's a really good striker. But at the same time, after having said all that, I just haven't seen him go against really good guys to really know how he is. And so, uh, if you were to make a bet here, I would play. I would probably play Max Griffin just because. I mean, it's about even money right now. And at least we know Griffin, um, you know, Griffin has, he, he can strike composed for a long time and is like pretty accurate with his strikes. 
But the, this just isn't my type of fight. It's just not my type of fight to bet. I'd much rather just have a lot of data on two people and then accurate, accurately be able to accurately gauge where the line should be and then take advantage if the line's not there. In this fight, who knows? Like, if Griffin might come out there and look like a minus 900 favorite. At the same time, maybe Zaleem is just like... Because Griffin doesn't have much depth to his game. That's the reason why I, like... Don't want to. I'm not going to play Griffin, and this also just you know how I am. If there's some unknowns going into a matchup, I don't like playing it at all. But a lot of people tend to play because like people making their UFC debuts generally lose. Um, I think it's like 65 to like 72 percent of the time. I've seen differ. I've seen different statistics on that. But um, yeah, I I just. It, it just kind of seems like a stay away to me. But if, if you're a type of guy who likes to kind of just have a little action on every fight, I'd probably throw on Griffin here because at least we know he's, like, pretty decent. And, I mean, he, he can beat guys like Tiago Alves. I thought he won that Alves fight, by the way. I think he, he didn't get the, the nod. But um, I'd be more comfortable because I, you, you we've seen enough of Zaleem's game to kind of know where he could be at, but much more than, like, a guy like Costa. But I'd be a lot more comfortable betting on him if he was going against a more well-rounded fighter. Because at least Griffin... Griffin only has, like... He only kind of just has some some hands and some striking. Like, if it was, like, him going against a Jordan Meehan. Like, Meehan, Meehan, we know he can strike, and he can... He has a really good ground game, too, where he can lay and pray you, or he'll take advantage of a hole you have in your game. Or Griffin just has the skill set of kind of a puncher... And Zaleem doesn't look, like, completely outmatched there. But, I mean, he might be. Like, I have no idea. So that, that's why the lack of depth in Griffin's game is why I'm not going to play it. But I probably would play him if forced to play. But like I said, I don't think you guys should play it either um, and focus on other fights on the card where we have more information. But I just wanted to kind of quickly give you that breakdown. I know it wasn't super technical or anything, but it's just echoing the same betting principle that I had talked about in the Costa fight where don't don't sweat it if you if you truly can't get a good line because just like in that Costa fight we might find out that Costa should be minus 500 we might find out that Brandon Davis should be minus 500 and same with this fight we might we might find out that Griffin should or Zaleem could be a huge favorite after the fight so it's just not worth it to me I'd much rather fight a bet or bet a fight like Anders Roundtree where we, we know their games and we know what we're going to get and we can accurately determine the outcome. So that's all I have. Um, go to my Twitter at Tim Z, Tim e Z. Uh, It's also at the end of this video. You can find it. Go to my Twitter and I have a poll on um, four fights and the one that gets voted the most I'm going to do a free preview, and if it happens to be one that I have a bet on, I'll just give you a free pick, too. And I do have some bets on a few of those fights, just so you know. So you're probably getting another free pick. But um, if you have any comments, just comment below. If you have any questions, just uh, reach out to me on Twitter. So thank you so much for listening, guys. I really appreciate it.